This is Sophie. So today, this is a bit of a different video. As some of you will know, I typically tend to talk about anything that's sort of of a luxury nature, whether that's fashion, beauty experiences. Part of that is very much cars for me, and I love the fact that I can incorporate that in because I'm a car girl, I love cars. But what I thought would be fun to do is to show you some of the interior of it today, and also I'm gonna show you the things that I keep in it, like the essential things that for me are quite handy for me to have on me so you saw some of the external features a little bit earlier. I'm just going to show you what the inside looks like. So this is a Carrera 4. The generation is a 991.2 edition. So you've got all the sort of dash and speedo display there. The options that I got on this car, one of the things that I got that I didn't have on the box store, and I'm really glad I got it, is the telephone system. Over here down to like the center console, I chose the sports exhaust option. Just a quick one on the sports exhaust. I'm gonna do a whole other video on this because it's a topic of its own, but I decided to get the sports exhaust on this car because this is not, the newer cars are not naturally aspirated. They still, they still sound good, but they don't have that sort of raw, deep sound that the naturally aspirated versions did let me just give you like a real quick one so you can like hear what it sounds like inside the cabin so i'm just going to start the car and sports exhaust is not on so it sort of sounds like pretty normal now if we press the sports exhaust button it, it just i don't even know if you can hear that but it just really subtly changes the tone it does definitely add something i'm actually going to stop now because this is turning into like a review and i don't want it to be that right i'm going to show you the things that i keep in this car on a daily basis some of you may remember in the box star i used to keep loads of stuff in the center console and i don't do it anymore in this car there's a reason in the new car can you see there's like a little image there of a phone so in the new car if you get the phone spec with it that's where the phone goes so you plug your phone in to charge via the connection there the great thing about this feature is when you place your phone on this pad here it basically boosts the phone signal instead i'm going to be keeping things in here in the glove box okay first up i live in the uk it is always raining so i always have an umbrella with me that goes in there let me empty it out all over the seat so you can see well i keep everything in these pouches so that it's sort of like neat and isn't just like <laughs> floating around in the glove box these are really inexpensive you can get these on my website this is like one of the designs it's probably one of my favorites actually so the first thing is hand cream i am always i'm always washing my hands therefore i'm always needing to moisturize them this hand cream i'm really liking at the moment it's from bath and body works it is the pumpkin cupcake one it smells really good it's really moisturizing but it's not like overly greasy so for example when i've put on this i hate it when you then go to drive and you've got like greasy hands on the steering wheel it doesn't do that it's really good so that's the first thing second up it is from chanel this is looking battered now but these can you see these are blotting sheets so i have oily skin in the day if i've gone somewhere i've parked up i just want to quickly blot i can use these really super easy then the next thing is this and i know you're going to be thinking like what the hell is that but this plastic thing is actually a holder for what this is. This is also from Bath and Body Works. They sell, I'm sure like most people know about this, but they sell these um, alcoholic sort of antibacterial hand wash things. And I just got this it, and it's designed so that you can hook it onto your bag and like easily grab it. But um, I don't really use it on my bag. The next thing is this, and I probably use this out of everything that I've shown here. I use this literally every day. This is a phone charger. But the cool thing is with it is that, for example, if I just go back to the center console here, I'm deliberately not using it actually because I've been using it to charge up my phone today, but you can plug this into there, connect your phone to that. The phone still works through the navigational system and on the main dash display that you can see there. But then the really great thing is once you've parked up, you can just unplug this with your phone 
take it with you and if your iPhone does what mine does which is that when it gets to about 50% battery it just turns itself off you've got this so you can get the thing powered back up again this is from Bando it comes in like loads of different colors two further items before I move on I have a lip balm with me and I also have a lipstick the lip balms that I I tend to always rotate these but I'm using this one at the moment which is just like from Nivea the lipstick this is a Christian Louboutin lipstick and I I really like it because this is obviously going to be something that more of the women who watch can relate to but you get up in the morning you do your makeup you might have like five different shades of pink or nude that you tend to always wear then you go out in the day and if you haven't taken that particular lipstick with you do you like go over the top of it with one that's like a totally different color i like this because it's fairly um it's fairly neutral to the colors that i tend to wear so i can put this over the top of any of my lipsticks and it's going to blend in because it's slightly sheer it's very hydrating i don't know the name of this color but i will put it below and it's just it's a really nice it looks a lot darker than it is there it actually comes out quite sheer but it just it's like a really nice neutral rose color other things include nail file and breath mints and also a pen i'm always taking notes with me i normally have a, a like a notebook as well but i've actually ironically forgotten that and then of course the final thing is sunglasses and i again i'm a bit like with the lipstick but i tend to rotate these but these are what i'm wearing at the moment they're really inexpensive they're tortoiseshell design and they're by this brand called lispec these are actually i really like these do you know what I mean? They're like quite oversized, they're very comfortable, and equally, if I drop them, if I lose them, they were literally 40 pounds, so I'm not gonna worry too much. I'm really into designer sunglasses, but I find that after a couple of wears, once the novelty's worn off, I'm not always very good at putting them back in their case after, and then they end up all scratched, so I think these are really good. And then finally, for anyone who's wondering, this is my phone case, and this is my wallet, which I've been using non-stop for ages. I really like it. So there you can see everything fits in really nicely. So that is what I keep in my car, in my glove box. I hope that you found this a bit interesting. I am gonna be doing more of these sort of car videos. I've already done some that I'll link below if you wanna see them. I do not profess to be technical. There are a million technical reviews out there that you can go and watch. I just like talking about cars from a sort of aesthetic lifestyle point of view. You know, what are, like practically, what do they like to live with? I'm gonna to link to everything that I've shown you below. I'll link to the other car videos below. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.